Hi, we are Sarah and Chad, and we just built a tiny home named Journey in order to travel around the country learning about life, love, and the art world. Today's video is all about how we built the outer shell of our tiny home. We started off the build with uh, buying the trailer back in the summer 2019. Mount Pleasant's got some amazing uh, trailer trailer building companies, and Performance Trailer was one of them. So I, I spent uh, 2,200 on on a real good 14 foot trailer that they made. That's the whole bottom chassis that you see. Uh, then we built the. My dad put it in. Uh, I had him tack in metal metal uh, studs all around to make the rectangular prism that everything else is built on so everything's wood other than just the metal trailer and just the metal frame uh, so what you got is uh, we have some real thin paneling that sarah found uh, on the outside actually was not waterproof when we first bought it we did not realize that so we had to clear coat waterproof it there's only one uh, window on it yeah one window one door uh, so there are major access points we've got vents in all the places that you would imagine smells happen um, so that's for laundry right there. Back in the front, there's one for uh, where our restroom's at. The front cabin's where we keep all of our utilities. So that would obviously include uh, electrical and all the solar work comes on in, in here. And on the top side is where you can see uh, we keep our air conditioning unit. Essentially all of our logistical things that you routinely work on, like the same thing that we that you uh, or we fill our body with, or our shovels, or dirt, or uh, electrical work, that all comes to accommodation in the front cabinet. Uh, normal access tongue that comes up and down, right? But more importantly, on every corner we've got a jack stand so we can level out how the trailer is no matter what the terrain looks like. Uh, I have a double axle trailer. Each axle can carry uh, 3,500 pounds and they both have brakes on them to make it more secure. So I have a, a brake assisting set up. This door is a custom door because uh, we couldn't find one that was like the right height and width. All the doors are like too, too, too low or too tall or too wide. Um, so I decided just to build the door myself. And I can tell you this, like this is the strongest door that I've, I've, ever, I've ever had in my entire life. And this entire house is the most secure home I've ever personally lived in. Um, in the construction process, what was most important to us was that, uh, or, or real important to me, because I do a lot of research in energy and, and uh, organic patterns and systems. And so it was important that we, that we constructed the home out of, out of like sacred propagation energy materials. What that means is just uh, things that allow natural energy to flow through them instead of reject them. So an example of that would be like wood and, and uh, stones. 
An example of something that would like block out good energy would be something like aluminum or anything like manufactured, like steels. Uh, so because we used wood, because that's what I know how to use and it, and it lets some of the good energies that radiate from the earth and flow through an environment, um, it also means that the whole trailer weighs 7,000 pounds, which was not what I was really looking for, but it's it's right at the limit for the SUV that we got. So every, everything's good to go. Uh, and and uh, we're excited to see how, how effective that is on, on living good.